Ooh, we get to snipe. Okay, that's potentially nice. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this. We get a shot, but we potentially get a... Is there a better snipe, actually? Let's see. Let's go this way. Oh, they're trying to craft some interesting deck. That's the whole point. Sunder is fantastic. Love that. Now I can remove the pain. So we're still can, I potentially get a snipe, but it's gotten significantly worse. Skim is a great card. I think Trugit getting that, one of those, is like, goes a long way. We got rid of the pain, which is fantastic. Burning Pack is another one of those card draw cards that like, is good to have for the future. I'm gonna future proof a little bit. Reason being is that because I got a snipe, I'm gonna future proof. Now that, that's not the best reasoning to future proof. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm future proofing. I'm taking cards that are like pretty good for potential infinite or potential, you know, energy stuff we might find. And boom, we end up getting a pretty good relic, I must say. Um, and we have Warp Tongues, which is also significantly really nice. So we can get more vulnerable stuff. I just need damage, so I'm taking this. I just need damage. Got sustain as well. This is pretty decent. I mean, okay, we take damage here, but that's fine. We sacrifice one pellets for another. Cause it kind of looks like pellets. Okay, I love it. Uh, I love Sunder so much. Consecrate is pretty good, but a cold sun gives me frost, and I can get down with that. Also, we should probably just stall for this guy, right? But if I get Crush Joints, I can get Sunder stuff, so I think that's reason enough. I can still get Warped on the Sunder, but the, um, it's just better for Sunder on this turn would be fantastic. We got the Sunder, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to just pick Sunder, taking no damage. Exactly what I wanted. I got exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, a lesson learned. So not only are we going to get upgrades in combat, but we get upgrades during... Okay, Lesson Learned is interesting. It kind of competes with Thunder a little bit, though. A little bit of competing with... Uh, with the Thunder, but okay, it's pretty decent. Turbo is pretty good for the fact that I have like a Burning Pact already. And Turbo also helps me get Thunder. I'm going to take the Lesson Learned. It's a pretty good card. Competing with Thunder is a little bit awkward, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, and I've got some meta scaling of some some capacity. Maybe now we can get the lesson learned. We have upgrades all over the place. It's gonna make it's, it's kind of funny because it's gonna make the uh, it's gonna make the warp tongues a little bit worse. But we can basically say we can keep adding cards because we're always gonna have upgrades. So we can take a darkness. Darkness is a really nice orb. We take a hologram for hologram thunder stuff. The future. Oh, I would love emulate. Can we manifest this? Oh, I love disarm as well. Emulate? Oh my god. This gives us a disarm and emulate. And we're kind of beating the curve because we want to find cards to upgrade with warp tongs and with the uh well emulates is huge here. Jeez Louise. And now we just do what? Lesson learned? Oh we get both. Compete my ass. Yeah, unfortunately we don't get instant sprinter, but that's fine. We got evolve. Evolve is just a really good power. Compete my booty. Evolve is just uh, allows some very degenerate stuff. So this is 13, 13 plus 13 is 26. Pretty nice. Allows us to get a disarm. Yeah, this is like a little bit more high rolling. We're getting one of those more high rolling things. I could go for perfect, but this is fine. Who needs perfect? You guys are already perfect.
Because I could have stalled even more. I want to set up a customer here, so that's the ultimate goal. Can we make it happen? Let's find out. Lesson learned as I go. If I get lesson learned here, I also get, coincidentally, the uh, instant better perfectly stacked. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So instant better is not perfectly stacked, but we do get the lesson learned potentially. This works. That should lead to a nice lesson learned. Instant Sprinter and Happy Flower are decent numbers, not the best, but not the worst. Everything's getting upgraded. So we could do a bias cog, which does nothing. Um, it makes our singular frost door pop off, and Cold Snap becomes sort of a decent block card, like an iron wave. And the bias cog just kind of uh, doesn't have much other effect. Rainbow doesn't do much, Contra Blade doesn't do much. This looks like a skip. Unless I'm saying I can take Bice Cog and make Cold Snap work. You know what? I will, I will have the luxury to make this work. Do we want Choker or are we too scared of the downsides in the future? Right now, this is a very decent Choker deck. <clears throat> Boys Crack. Because we have a lot of uh, high cost cards and we don't really play that many cards or don't even touch six cards a turn. Now, potentially that could change in the future. Like in Act 3 or 4, maybe the Choker would bite me in the butt. Corruption stuff, who knows. I don't have to go down that route necessarily. I can just take Slaver's Calder. And we'll be worse off in the hallway fights, but that's fine. Because we have so much value in hallway fights. We have like Happy Flower, Instant Sprinter. We have Sustain from Meal Ticket. We have Warp Tongue giving us value. We have Sunder. Sunder's a little bit harder to hit with this um, Slaver's Calder stuff, but it's fine. I'm thinking of doing three Elites. I'm thinking of doing three leads. Let's do it. It's another example of like, if I had extra energy here, we would have Immolate Sunder. And that's really good. Immolate Sunder there would have saved a lot of life. Crescendo. Oh my god. I just want to put a crescendo on every deck. Membership card. Ooh, that was a nice door. Got a membership card. Forgot to remove first. Whoopsies. Ooh, and let me take membership card and get gold. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this one? What do you guys think about this one? Sunder, see if I had energy here, this would be a great Sunder. Alright, so now we have the card and like effectively 900 gold. Is that good? I can't tell. So we can do Hologram Sunder and Crescendo it. During the bottle's great. Pearson was pretty decent. Can't tell if this is good. Can't tell if 900 gold out of thin air. That's just crazy the sequence of events that happened there. Alright, this is a potentially annoying fight. Potentially a very annoying fight.
It would be sick if I had Bash. Because Bash Thunder things. Um. Skip and I guess reprogram would have been decent. So we're gonna have effectively twenty thousand gold here. All right, so we got clock souvenir. Master strategy is great. I can just get everything. I can just get all the things. Anything else we particularly want? Do you guys like ancient tea sets? For sometimes to get some energy. I mean, when it's this cheap, you probably think about it, huh? But there's another shop coming up, so let's save some money. We also kind of want to get the um, the instance on a good number here. So what would be a good number, so to speak? Definitely not one. Maybe not even two. But double tap. A double tap would be good for Sunder stuff, right? Or what about Bloodletting? Bloodletting gives us um, energy to play stuff in the hallway. I like Bloodletting here. Playing sort of like intuition here. Ooh, is that for a key? What could go wrong here? What could go wrong here? Not much, right? Unfortunately, we don't have like the beautiful I don't have the hologram to bring back anymore, but I do have crescendo, so Maybe I can set up instant runner for the next fight, which is what's maybe my goal here. Set up instant runner for this fight right here. So five for the next fight, is, that's the goal. And now we have instant on five for the next fight. Worship is interesting. Like having a divinity thing with package with uh sure. I don't want to add too many random cards though. Ooh. I guess instance works here as well. It wasn't my intention to play this fight like this. Okay, but this works. Because we can get less than end or sunder. Although it would be kind of sick. So we have a six metallic size. With, like, with the clock machine nearby, we have like, a, like a, a nice little metallic size. I think I want to stall a little bit more just to get the incense at a better number. Are we happy with three? Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. Who's who's opposed? I'm not opposed. Oh, shiznit. We've got Immolate Sunder. Unfortunately, this guy's still alive, though. Is that a problem? Should I be focusing on him instead, despite the fact that Sunder gives me energy back? How do we feel about this? How do we feel about this? Are Mantra decks good? Do they go burr? Mantra decks are generally pretty slow, but Mantra could be something you could add to a deck that sometimes works out. It's very situational, but I think for the most part, they're too slow. Definitely too slow. Okay, um, is it a problem that we're sundering this guy? I should probably be doing damage on this guy instead. If you're doing Worship there, was not bad. Yeah, Mantra decks are pretty slow, I mean... You're kind, of, you're kind of on the right pack if that's how you're feeling. Take some damage here, but maybe I could do this instead. And 
What this does, unfortunately, is it makes Instance Burner on the worst number possible for the Elite. Do we care? Do we care? I mean, it's technically, it could be a little bit worse. Right? Dark Shackles, Inner Peace. Inner Peace, now we have an ability to get out of Wrath Stance and enter Calm. Okay, and why is Calm good? Well, Calm can end up being card draw down the line. The problem with this Inner Peace is one of the worst Calm Source things. If Crescendo is what you have, I would, like Fear and Evil would be a lot better. But then, we, then we're getting like into this weird Calm Wrath stuff that might just dilute the deck in general. Whereas like right now I could do Worship twice with Hologram and that could be like a, a nice package for long fights, right? Dark Shackles is interesting. I don't mind it. Inner Peace has potential because of the card draw element with Bloodletting I'm a big fan of. Uh, but other than that, it's not that great. Of course, we need other washer cards for that to start truly popping off. Huh. Bottle lighting is not like, the greatest thing you want to see. I think starting the turn with Master Strategy is, in general, though, pretty good. Hey, this armor's pretty good as well. Should I do Crescendo? I mean... <laughs> of course I want to. That accelerates my damage like crazy. But we'll play it close to the chest here. Playing it close to the chest. We have Bias Cog, which <laughs> is potentially good if if I get um I guess evolve is good for this fight. I was gonna play I was I was I was gonna forgo evolve, but I think it's pretty decent for this fight now that I think about it. I wanna get a Sunder out here now. Like this would be a decent turn for Crescendo Sunder, but we can wait for Instant Spender to do Sunder stuff. Alright, so we're not actually taking a lot of damage from Block Pot. We have 70% chance for potions, so this is pretty decent. As long as we block decently here, which we do. Um, the Crescendo stuff comes in sooner. We can actually, potentially, we can draw a Worship again right now. I did too much damage. Is that a problem? Because we want to get lesson learned, right? So that's sort of a problem that I do too much damage. When lesson learned wants to be played. Okay, so we're like our whole deck's about to be upgraded. This is fantastic. Palm Strike is Cardra, which I love. Yeah, it's Metallic is like Quarter's artifact. So it's actually not bad. Because the bias cog not only is it metallicized, but when I play Cold Snap, it's pretty decent block. Is it not? Look at the store. Oh, wait. <laughs> we don't want to waste our mall bank, right? But isn't Hornfleet so good? Can I get a pass here? We get a Hornfleet and removal. Do we also want to just forgo Bash and say, you know what? Crush Joints is doing it better. How do we keep mall bank? But Hornfleet is so good. Buy another shard? Two shards. I can't see other shot products anymore because of this whole prismatic charge stuff. This, this is the downside. Hopefully it's so good, guys. Can I really pass it? But Malbec is giving me 24 gold a floor, though. Maybe that's better? I don't know. How's our block game looking like? Blocking is pretty shoddy. Let's do this. Does Rupture do anything for us? I 
That's just particularly expensive. Oh my god, we can just do uh, crescendo and go for the kill. What could go wrong? Also, how many cards do I need to upgrade? I have quite a bit of cards to upgrade. Lesson Learn has a lot of work to do. If he has negative 20 strength, so I could technically do crescendo now, right? And kill with Sunder. But that defeats the purpose because we want to do um less similar, don't we? Technically I had lethal, but we're gonna respect the lesson learned. We've learned our lesson with it. And instance burn is gonna be at a quite awkward number, but who cares, I guess. Who cares, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, cult the spot. That's really good for the... For this, uh... This next fight. It just so happens that's pretty good for this next fight. It's kind of cool. Pretty good for this next fight. I don't know, I must say. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I suppose I can. And all I gotta do is just block and just chill. Block and chill is all I gotta do. I could technically keep making the deck small, though, burning packs and kind of do some interesting stuff, but... Also, we can play Bicecog. Oh, I didn't get Bicecog in time. Sag. Sag, Sag, Sag. We, we need to get Bicecog here. If we got Bicecog here, it would have been massive. Would have been crucial. Now that I don't have Bicecog with the artifact, I feel so much worse about it. It's quite sad, actually. Luck and shows what I, what, what I say when I'm going to play Minecraft. Let's go one. We can see Worship. And maybe this whole Divinity stuff is going to pay off. Maybe by the virtue of hologram, or just drawing back into it. Like I said, as it turns out, Cold Spot's pretty good, and we could just kind of chill here. And now that we're not weakened, maybe we can think about doing worship. What do you guys think? Ice Hog is pretty bad, considering. Ooh, we got less to learn, but if you notice, we kind of have way too much non. Uh, attacking cards. That's sort of a problem, no? Also, we have all this strength, but not a very efficient way to get rid of it, or use it, rather. But here we are, existing. We less than learn the champ. I mean, we're weakened right now, but this would be a decent turn for Divinity, right? We're gonna try to this. Okay, we can just keep stalling and potentially less than the champ, yes. Yes, we can. Are we happy with this? Okay, is this less than the champ? It's not there yet, right? Yes, it is there. Infant's been pitifully and the wrong number, but whatever. What's up, Marl? How you doing, buddy? Machine learning of judgment. These are not, these are not very good. I, for the sake of not passing, I'll take that, but... I mean, coffee Chipper is not good for us. We do have Evolve for Market Pain, but I don't necessarily like... Having these wounds in the deck. Um, what is Coffee Tripper? Is that good or bad for us? We have self repair. Self repair black blood. Or, bl uh, you know, burning blood. They, um, they upgraded the black blood to heal for 12. 
they buffed it. Now we, we look for Mind Bloom, then we go for um, the game winning kill. Oh, we got Biscog, which is kind of cool. Biscog is kind of cool if uh, I like taking damage, which I don't. Because I want to get Sunder Lesson Learned. That's the goal here. The goal is Sunder Lesson Learned. Ambitious goal, I must admit. But that's the goal nonetheless. Hmm. Close. Close, my friends. Well, the reason why not being arrested camper is not as bad is because we have self repair and we have burning blood. So we can actually heal. It's not like we have no way of healing. If we had no way of healing, it would be a much more of a thing to think about, but Unfortunately, in this case, we don't have to think about it. As it turns out, we don't really got to think about that. Sunder lesson learned. Here it is. Oh, we got one thing. Oh, Lord. Okay. This works. Does this work? It doesn't even work. Oh, that's annoying. Oh no. No, 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 no. We have hologram, right? Oh no, 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 no. I didn't do the math. I, I figured, why, who cares about math? Why should we math? Oh my god, recycle is so cool. Is it good though? We're seeing a lot more cards than I like recycle. On the other hand, I just love discovery though. Like, I'm a huge discovery fan. All right. Are we too slow for this fight? Let's find out. Let's find out if we're too slow for this fight. We have this bias cog card that uh, currently does nothing. So we we like maybe I would take another. Um, oh, sick! This is pretty good. With crescendo, this is pretty damn sick. All right, lesson learned. Potential. Cool. Oh, magic flower. Okay, so we go for a shit ton. Bison one is not is not actually good. Like you would. Oh, so this is a lot of gold. That's. A stupid amount of gold that I can't utilize because there's no shops. How sad is that? Unless this is like happens to okay, unless this happens to be removal, which is unlikely. We do have a true grit, okay? We have a true grit, we have a burning pact. We can manage normalities with true grit burning pact. Okay, just hear me out, hear me out. And but I would like to remove strikes instead. Alright. I mean such a crazy amount of healing. I mean uh gold though. I'm having that thing where I'm reading something in chat and it's causing him to say something in real life instead of what I want to say. Oh, this guy's actually trying to hurt me. It's kind of rude. Why is this guy so rude? Let's see, Bice Cog. We got it. Got the Bice Cog, right? What's it going to do for us? Absolutely nothing. I know the goal would be so tempting, but. There's a bias card. I kind of want to go crescendo and tell him to figure it out. Try to get lesson learned. This is how this is how bad things happen by playing crescendo. This is how bad things happen, guys. Is it though? Yeah, I think so. Crush shorts would have been nice as well, but... We have evolved, so this, this is not the end of the world, actually. I have too much block. Give me barricade. Maybe this will have barricade? Like one can hope? 
Recycle is also, I just need a lot of card draw. Give me like Battle Trance, give me Acrobatics. Give me all the card draw. This is how we find Lesson Learned. It's like this, we do this and then we blow that in for the Lesson Learned. Okay. We'll try again next time. At least this gives Happy Flower and Sinsbro a perfect number. And Lesson Learned. Boom, we have so much, oh my god. This is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate healing deck. I mean, we have all this kind of healing. Now all I need is creative AI and we have a stupid amount of infinite heal. If we wanted it, of course. Okay. Now I'm kind of done with these, uh, these events. Let's go pivot to fights. I told you I was doing one of these events, but couldn't help myself. Alright. Perfect instant burner. I love it. We have Bias Cog for no reason whatsoever. These powers, though. Look at the healing. Oh my lord. How many more upgrades do we need for lesson learned? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. I just want to find an Immolate right now. This is definitely Crescendo time, right? There's no way this could ever go bad for playing Crescendo. Never in the history has it gone bad. Playing Crescendo this early. Surely there's nothing ever wrong with this. So we have Lesson Learned, right? Now, how do I do Lesson Learned by also killing the... Uh, Okay, my answer here. I think I did too much damage already. I did too much damage already. So if I do lesson learned, I would need to draw into other sorts of damage somewhere. I guess Cold Snap could do it. Suppose Cold Snap could do it. So close. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you joking me? I care about our upgrades right now. Nothing else matters. If we potion though, we earn the side of not having damage. I'm gonna do the most ballsy thing you've ever seen. I was just kidding and I still did it. What's wrong with me? What the hell is wrong with me? I was just joking. And I still did it. We have hologram, right? Okay. It's just a flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. I heal for like shit ton, don't I? Self repair and magic flower. So this is actually not a big deal. The only problem is that I don't have evolve. Yeah, I know it's rap stance, but um, we can we can still be fine because we have self repair and we have all this healing. But there's a chance that I don't draw lethal, right? I went for the risk play. I, I, like I said, I play risk. I'm a grandmaster in risk. We, we, we take risks. And now we're looking for all the There we go. Look, heal, look, everything's healed up. We can pre even. We can even heal up even further. That's just fine. That's, that's what life's made, made. Look, it's made to be used. Oh, perfect. Cardra, I love it. 
what it's there for, boys. Look, almost full life already. Almost full life already. What's the blood there? Oh, sickening. This is interesting. I do recycle, I have lesson learned. Is it risky? I don't really, it's not, how risky is it when I have all this sustain and I have fairy in the bottle? Is it really risky? It's just for content. It makes you guys feel like I'm provocative, but in reality, guys, fairy in the bottle and so much healing, it's not really risky at all. That's my secret. I mean, it, it, I got, I ended up getting the worst case scenario, alright? I'm not happy about that, but it really wasn't that risky. Worst case scenario was unfortunate though, I must say. I'm not happy about the worst case scenario, but okay. <laughs> Shit happens. Look at this instant burner. I love it. Should I do this now? It's illegal. Damn, honestly, I, I, I got the stupidest sustained relics I've ever seen. Um, we can draw worship again eventually. But look, we got bias cog. It's kind of cool. These are not very good. I'll take a flex. Hey man, you guys should stop attacking me, I feel like. I like the strikes because the strikes are going to be useful for lethal in a second. I mean, it's actually good because we have uh, Emily. We have, uh, what's it called? We have Evolve Plus. Alright, can I get lethal now with Worship? In the very least, let me do Crescendo. Worship is right here though. I believe we can do it. You guys believe we can do it? We would have to draw cards. In order to get draw cards, I need to play cards. Which is a little bit frustrating considering I need this for lethal. There it is. Nice. Dex almost upgraded. Brutality is cool. He thinks it's interesting. We have four and we have four powers. Eh, it's not that great. Also, I'm curious. Uh, Donadeka? Okay. Brutality is weird because it does. What well, it guarantees the. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of brutality personally. But I wonder if empty bodies to play so that this whole rap stand stuff doesn't happen again. And maybe we can find calm or something else. We're gonna lose our dark, sh our crush joints. It's one of my best attacks. I'm actually running out of attacks here, but boys. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, I'm running out of attacks. Is Sundial ever good for us? The deck's far too fat. This is a pretty bad shop. All things considered, this is a pretty bad shop. I think it's hand drill here. I just got a hand drill. I want to remove, but I'm actually running out of attacks if you look at it. I'm severely low on the attacks. Kind of sad. Do I take a headbutt? It's a pretty, pretty nice attack. Like when you get to this point where you need attacks, a utility attack like headbutt is pretty cool. I must say. 10 damage, oh my god, you're so scary. Look at this, like, I need, I need so much card draw. Where are all the card draw cards? It's annoying. It is overloaded. I, I had a big mush moment earlier today. I must admit. I must admit my mush mush was severe.
Um, are we going to be able to get lesson learned? Or are we going to die in this fight? Find out now. We have a way to remove, right? See, you know, I'm gonna say that the crescendo there uh, was not worth it. Let's play powers. The powers go for three, right? Okay, so this is net. Blade Dance. Blade Dance is an attack card. I like it. Energy Pot. Might be useful. Anticipator is not perfectly stacked. I must admit. Um, but okay. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so how are we killing these fights? Does the thing have a win condition? It does have Divinity, so it can do damage with Divinity. It can also do damage with... Uh, with crescendo and we have empty body but we need a second source of wrath if that's what we're gonna be doing but yes the answer is it does also bash is extremely expensive here i like the vulnerable but it's so expensive what is this what is that so this is probably a good time to get a crescendo now it seems scary and that's because it is scary that's because it is scary but the damage output is actually insane the only thing is I need a way to get out of it, or or I need to kill the uh, Deca, which I don't think we have the damage for that, do we? And if I kill Deca, then Donut comes up next turn. Now we do have Empty Body, and we do have... I'm, I'm probably making it unnecessarily hard for me. The damage is not that good, actually. At least it's not 262, right? 64, 64 is going to be 100 and... That's a lot of energy, but okay. 128. 128 plus 56. Plus 18. Plus... 30. Plus 24. We're, get, we're sort of getting there. Sort of getting there. How do how do we get there all the way? The bash doesn't do it either. Bash is only sixteen. I believe the most amount of damage we have now is um two hundred and forty-two. We only have two hundred and forty-two damage, which seems nice, but doesn't quite get us there. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start doing other things. We're just gonna get rid of Slave, I guess. We can wait till we have Instant Sprinter. Kind of help us out a little bit. I'm curious to see what this is. An Evolve prematurely? Or a Rampage? We're kind of running out of. Uh, we're running out of attacks. Get Tori here, I can take the damage. I'm not really worried about the damage, I don't think. I want to get this guy to be bashed, so that's my main goal here. My main goal is making that guy bashed. Okay, so now we need card draw. Does anybody know what card draw we can do? <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. We're almost at the crescendo goal send here. Imagine doing Bernie Pack stuff. Game, like, you're telling me I'm doing nothing on these turns? I'm just spending my turns doing nothing? Are you serious?
Really? So now I want to do crescendo, but then this is a little bit dangerous because. Ooh, it's a little bit dangerous, but let's go. I mean, that was that was my turn. Like that's my turn. Love it. I love that that's my turn. I should have done worship there. Curious to see what we draw. Or like empty body. We didn't draw empty body. Kinda wanna keep going again. This is like a stupid amount of damage to take, you know? That's the only thing. This I have three energy, so headbutt shrug. I could dig into even more cards potentially. Who would have thought this one lone Bernie Pact was my saving grace? And now I do worship to kill. I ignore the fact that I took twenty thousand damage and. At least we got the scaling HP done. Now we do worship to kill. So we do headbutt. And worship kills. Now we probably want to manage the uh, the instance burner. So is three okay for the for a weakened one? I would say yes. Looking for lesson learned. Okay, so we have so much sustain. Look at that, we're back up to 82. And what powers are we playing for the Awakened One? Hand saving the day. Hand is fantastic, absolutely. You push your Ironclad Ascension up to one. I mean, only because I was given an easy win. I got Psycho White and Energy Relic and picked up costly cards and this far giving you win. That's it, you did the right thing. I played that Burning Pack like four times, I know, it was ridiculous. So what powers do we want to play? Um, I don't want to play any of the powers. <laughs> I don't need to play any of the powers. This is a pretty easy win. If I don't muck it up, right? Because all I got to do is play zero powers. And start recycling machine learning, for instance. Although machine learning does help me draw. I think drawing an extra card probably is worth whatever strength Awakened One's going to get. Because we have so much energy and so little card draw. But technically, if we keep exhausting the deck down, we have Pummel Strike, we have Burning Pact, we can actually survive. We have a lot of life. So, you know, we can play this pretty close to the chest here. But first, I'm thinking about Crescendo Lesson Learned. You guys down? Crescendo Lesson Learned now. And what could go wrong by having Lesson Learned up? I mean, by having Crescendo out right now. Now we. That means we're going to depend on hitting empty body, a singular empty body, which we saw how bad that was last time. So maybe we shouldn't replicate that. I don't need any of them. I could, machine learning does help me basically cycle into this, the, the exhaust cards and the draw cards so that I can basically win the game, but we can play it super safe. No, I think machine learning is, is good enough. It's good enough. Okay. Yeah, I would like to do uh Crescendo stuff. Might even think it's probably pretty smart too. I ended up not recycling anything, which is not exactly where I want to be. So I think the more we recycle, the quicker this game is. So there we go. That's this is like supposed to be the big bad scary man. If, if I can safely draw into empty body, I would play crescendo now and just get this out of the way. And do a lot of damage this turn. That's only if. And I can even lesson learn if I wanted to. So I'm gonna draw just to see. Oh, that's right. That's the thing that happens. 
Blade Scrog also is a pretty good metallicized. Like, that breaks even a little bit, right? Metallicized Cold Snap. It's two blocks short from breaking even. So it doesn't actually break even. As it turns out. I actually have two turns to find uh, empty body, so I'm gonna do this. I have two turns to find empty body, so get a Christian out of the deck. This is when we want to start getting rid of the uh, these powers. And finding weaken, we had, I realized we had no source of weaken, so we should probably fix that, right? Corners of the future. We should probably fix that. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm trying to keep Discovery upgraded, that's why I'm not playing it. I should probably upgrade Discovery a long time ago. I'm gonna thin my deck out to like the bare minimum. You guys are gonna love this. I hope you love it at least. That's the goal. I guess the question is what do you guys want to keep? Probably self repair because self repair is actually a pretty decent power to play at the end of this fight. Ah, eh, it's fine. What should we keep? I don't even need Sunder. So, wh what, what are we going to use to kill, I suppose? The deck's almost down to the nitty gritty. What, what do we keep? What do we use to kill? Okay, let's do worship to kill. But, how are we doing on the next part of this fight? I guess is the question. I'm not quite ready. I mean, this is pretty good because Instant Spinner is next turn, so I don't mind it. But then, is this deck even ready to win? I suppose. Let's go. I'm not going to overthink it. Oh, got Discovery Plus. That's exactly what I wanted. Got Corruption all of a sudden. Corruption is interesting. Limit Break is... Uh, like, Corruption is... Hmm. Curious. Corruption is curious. I am curious about corruption. If I just go into divinity, we just kill the, we just kill, right? Let's play corruption then. And instance has to be at four. Let's remember that. Before I forget anything else, instance has to be at four. No discovery. You're supposed to be the chosen one. Is is the divinity even good enough though? Should be. Should be good enough. This is not instance on four, that's the only thing. So we gotta keep it at instance at four. So we gotta kill two turns basically. Which should be possible. Hmm, too much damage. That's fine. Stall for two more turns here. Okay. 
Okay, we gotta kill next turn. Beautiful. Incense and Happy Flower are perfect. I mean, I have to be patient here because uh, we've been playing sort of Slavi, and the Axe Elite is probably gonna ask us some questions, but we'll see. I doubt it. What do we upgrade? Everything's pretty much upgraded. I like the discovery upgrade, but it's not that fantastic. Let's get machine learning going. I do like that. I can get down with that. Okay, we got Lizard Tail. Do we just take that and say, hey, you know what? Do your worst. What exactly is our win con, though? I mean, we're just playing things, doing Crescendo, doing Divinity, and just winning. We don't have... It's a very weird deck. But we have Fairy and Lizard Tail. I mean, we can't lose. We have three lives now. I've held to this fairy this whole game. I kind of like Shrink Pot more. Just get some more strength, but... I think with Fairy and Lizard Tail, for sure we can't lose. This is like, oh man, you need to be protected. You got Waffle, Lizard Tail, Anchor. What else do you need, man? Let me give you some more blocks, some more protection. You gotta take it on the fairy if you need it. The game's trying to look out for me, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're just kind of smacking things, I suppose. I would like another Raft Stance. One more Raft Stance, please. Juggernaut plus Frost? Are you serious? Hey, this is it. This is this is the moment to shine. You've been asking for it. The Jug Frost. However, how much block did we actually do? I mean, I want this bias clock to pop off, but it, it won't. More discoveries? More discoveries. There's more discoveries to be had, boys. There's a whole world out there. I'm going to Crescendo, and I'm never leaving it. Crescendo, and I'm never leaving. No one can stop me. It's me and my Crescendo. Oh, but we got to stop this at four. I really, not four. Um, yes, at three or four. That's one thing to mention. See what this is. Oh, corruption. That's cool. I don't mind that. Corruption's cool. Can we die by um by staying in this farm as we are? Come as you are. Perhaps. So you know what we can do to prevent di dying? Is get rid of some artifacts here. Get rid of some artifacts and then... Um, get the hand drill going. Now the artifacts are gone. And we could say... Just chilling for a couple turns here. For a couple of turns just mean you chilling. This is underrated quality partner. True. True, true, true. Alright guys, my question. Three or four, what do you guys want? Oh, look at that. This is telling me three. It does. It, it, it totally. Is, it's 50-50, guys. It's 50-50. But in general, it's better to have it on four because you get to get it sooner. Although we could take this damage technically, we could take. Wait, did we get less than learn? We already did. Well, this is kind of telling me three. So I'll listen to the spire. The spire has a way of talking to me. A prepared or a cloak and dagger. We, we, we could have sustained our whole life, but it's fine. Oh, look, we broke the relic bar. We have no Kunano no Shuriken. Get every relic in the game but those. Oh, we got Discovery. What do we got? A Bludgeon? But sure.
I was hoping for something better. You disappointed me. No one more for us. Hey, the one me. I'm glad you like them, buddy. Hey. This is not nice. Hey, more discoveries. Um, what can go wrong with Havoc? Wait, what can go wrong? A lot of things can go wrong with Havoc. A lot of things can go wrong with Havoc. Played Vice Cog for nothing. Vice Cog is useless now. I suppose it always was useless. Discover, what do you got for me? Demon form. Hey, I'll take it. Should probably not get rid of these wounds because they're draw for me with Evolve, right? Instead, I should get rid of something else. Like what? What I should do is get more discovery. Oh my god. We're crafting a deck on the fly, guys. Everybody look out. We're making a deck on the fly. Okay, but these cards are not it. These cards are not it, sir. These cards potentially could be it. And that bias, though, got played early. It's tragic. Crescendo now? Now how crazy is the crescendo now in a world where not crazy at all? Because we have hologram. We can end hologram. We could have ended with hologram, I mean on the worship. But now it's too late because Um now it's too late because I don't get the worship. Huh. Probably should get the worship though. I was thinking of just doing the worship here. But I kinda like the cold snap as well. I'm greedy. I have no fear. I'm fearless. Alright, so if, we, if he had block, we could have done uh, hand drill stuff. Unfortunately, piercing out would be cool. Alright. If. I could get rid of the artifacts. Remember that thing that I had? I had this thing called, uh, what was it called? Crush joints. I'm sure they're trolling, but at the same time, we have a lot of potions. So let's try to think about what we want to do. I want to kind of save the disarm for after this next artifact gets applied. Maybe that's even silly as well. Just playing things. Mm, it's okay. Burning back versus blade dance. Okay. My voice is cracking like crazy. The heart's making me nervous. Barricade. What does that do for us? This is not a barricade deck, but you know what? I'm still kind of curious. Recycle and Burning Pact are so nombarific. I love the nombos of these two. Hey, that's a bludgeon. I accomplished nothing this turn. Which is a big problem. Let's do something that's not nothing. It'd be cool if I do damage now and then worship on the following turn. Right? So we keep the damage output going. How does that sound? Sounds good, right? We could do this divinity turn or we could do divinity next turn as well, right? So 
keep the damage going. What's the best way to keep damage going? That bash is pretty good though. Could have done dark cycles and then done the bash, but this 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 works. Cause I can keep dark cycles for a rainy day. So this is a good time to do worship, I would say. We don't have a weekend, so this is when it gets like a little bit dicey, I suppose. With no weekend. I'm barely blocking at all. And then just in time, just the nick of time, lethal finds itself. It finds a way. It finds a way. Out here in the spire. Out here in the spire. What are we drawing into? Sunder. Nothing but gas. Nothing but gas. It ain't nothing but gas up here. GG. Okay, so it felt like it felt like a really long run, but it was only an hour. That run felt like it took ages though. Was that that locked in? Was time slowing down? Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I played with orbs? I'm not, no. I it was I was supposed to have I was supposed to have orbs, like a, a, a frost that was supposed to do something. But that didn't work out.